let's just dive right into it. Um, I, mean, I, feel it. Like, I feel like there's a bunch of questions I could ask. One of which is how many followers have you gained since the trick was landed? Almost. I think I'm like a hundred followers off from 6,000 new ones. Just straight up from yeah. the triple. And it's okay. been what? It's Tuesday. What is it? Four days? Three days? What days? Oh, no, it's, it's pretty insane. Yeah. It's been a few days. Six, like six, especially the first day was like, it was like 4,000 or something. Then these, la- these last two days have been like a little slower, yeah. but it's crazy. Well, I mean, you got X Games posting it. You got just mm. all sorts of people posting it. Yeah, dude. How hype is that, bro? I like. I saw like the X Game notification. I was like, oh my god, that's so sick. And then I clicked on it, and it had like the like the collab. And I was like, no way. They asked me to collab on this. Let's go, dude. X Games back in yeah. wakeboarding, maybe. Dude, um, that was all in the comments. <laughs> bring like, it back. Bring it back. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I hope so. Um, let's uh, let's just kind of run it from the beginning of before this event. How many times? Like what, what was the process of learning the triple and how many times have you tried it? Would you say before? Yeah. So, I mean, the whole thing started back in 2021, which is like the first year I moved down here. That was like the first year that I, um, started attempting it. And yeah, I don't like how it kind of all started. Uh, that was okay. Let's think. I, I hit my first double up like a week before masters in my rookie year I was going to masters. I was like, Oh my God, I don't know how to hit a double up. So I hit steel up and he taught me how to hit a double up. And then fast forward like five months. And that was like when I tried my first triple. Um, really? Yeah. So I think it kind of, the, the double back row kind of just quickly became like the most common trick that I did off the double up. And then I think I just posted on some big ones on Instagram and stuff. And all the comments were like, you need to do a triple. Like this is the man for the triple. I was like, why not dude? Let's give it a shot. So, um, yeah, after the season ended, I, I think I attempted like 12 in 2021. Okay. Just kind of like, a, just kind of like a trial and error, like looking back on it now. Um, and then the next year, 2022, I only tried one, which was in the double or nothing contest. And then like the week leading up to it, I was just doing like a bunch of double back rolls, just practicing. And then this year was like really the year where I gave it like the hardest crack, 100%. So, so those first 12 though, would you say you were close on any of them or was it? Oh uh, yeah, 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 100%. Um, but it was more, I think back then it was like, I'm, I'm edging into these, like hoping it works out compared to like this year I'm edging and like, like knowing I'm going to land the, you know, think, thinking I'm going to land so it. So it was know? early days. It was kind of hucking and yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. were and getting like, them around them. Yeah, 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 for sure. There were definitely like a couple hard crashes, but then a couple like really, really close ones. Yeah. But yeah. But so, I knew, I, I think I knew like from the first one that I ever tried, it was a pretty good attempt. And I knew like right then I was like, I can do this. Really? For sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it was just a matter of time. Yeah, for sure. So, well, I mean, there's so much to unpack on the triple, but had you landed one before this event? No. no so it's dude, a true. Yeah, yeah. So many people thought I did. Like so many people thought I was gatekeeping it, but no, I swear. I mean, that's. That adds a whole nother layer to this whole yeah. whole triple thing. Dude, um, I, I think if I did, I, I told a handful of people this. Like, I think if I landed it before the event, like, I don't know if it would have happened in the event. Because, like, obviously I would have wanted to do it again in the double or nothing contest. But I don't think I would have been as motivated for sure, you know. Like, I I wouldn't I wouldn't have cared if I didn't do it in the contest because I would have done it beforehand and still done the first triple flip, you know. Yeah, the, the pressure of the contest. Yeah. or Maybe not the pressure, but, like, the, the bigness of the contest was something that would... I would imagine help give you that little extra adrenaline boost or whatever. Yeah, for sure. Um, how many how many attempts would you say that you've put into it total? It was I think I landed it on the thirtieth attempt. Really? Yeah. So then I so yeah, I think like twelve or thirteen in twenty twenty two, just one in twenty or sorry twenty twenty one, and then one in twenty twenty two, and then fifteen leading into double or nothing. Okay, so you you did say that you hit up steel, mm-hmm. and he is. I mean, I, I'm sure there's been some others that have tried a triple on a boat. Yeah. Um, some people, some people come to mind, but Steele is kind of one of the most famous ones who yeah. really made a push to do the triple. Yeah. I, I think Steele is like the only other person that like really gave it a solid effort. For yeah. Sure. And his was a different triple though. So mm-hmm. did, did you talk to him at all about doing this trick? Yeah. For, I mean, Steele is one of my good friends. Like we go on the boat all the time and stuff and hang out. Um, and I don't like, we, we definitely talked about it not like technical terms of like how it how it's gonna like happen and stuff just like i feel like how sick it's gonna be when like it happens you know because i guess i mean he couldn't really impart any wisdom i guess because he never landed one and it was a different triple that he had been trying yeah i mean he like he definitely gave me like 
tips and stuff like mindset and all that all that sort of stuff yeah um but yeah so i mean this might be a kooky question but did you have, did were there any like doubters that people were who after you tried a few and the hype is being built up that like the triple could go down at double or nothing were there anyone that was like no there's no fucking way that like i don't th- i don't think i've personally like heard anyone say it maybe, maybe behind my back i don't know but i haven't I don't think I've seen any comments. Like all the comments I see on like Instagram, TikTok and stuff was like, bro, you got this. And that's like, that's part of like the hype for me was like all these people backing me up and like, it was just building my confidence, you know? So yeah. Everyone believed in that. Yeah. It definitely helped me out. T-Herm but, triple. How uh, crucial was your recent hairstyle change uh, for Lenny? Oh, very, very, very <laughs> crucial. Very <laughs> crucial. <laughs> uh, I'll throw in a picture because you have a hat on now, but I'll throw yeah. in a pic of Dude, cheated out. I like. for sure flipped like so much faster. 100%. <laughs> Um, speaking of, uh, Steel's triple, why, why is it the triple back row that, I mean, you kind of explained a little bit earlier, Dude, but Steel, bro, I don't know how in the world you would ever try triple cap. Like, dude, you're going straight to your face on a triple cap. Why would you ever do that? Like what? Triple back roll, you're at least going to your back. It's not going to hurt nearly as bad. Yeah. And that was when I first learned double flips, double back roll was, I actually, I first did double cab on the cable, I think when I was like 14. And then when I was 16, I learned double back roll on the boat, but that was, that was the biggest factor for me was I'm going to do double back roll because I'm at least going to my back, not to my face. Yeah, for sure. So I think, yeah, when it came to the triple, um, triple back roll for sure. So on this specific one, I, I watched it back and I mean, you stomped, you stomped the piss out of it pretty much, but you didn't connect fully with the double. Yeah, yeah it was a little bit early, huh? So is there room for a quad? <laughs> I don't know about for me. So I'll, I'll let someone else do that. One, I think. Uh, more realistically though, is this the triple going to be something that is regularly put down for you? Is that going to be something that you're working towards of on the double ups to throw down the triple? We'll see. I'm, I'm never going to say no. Um, cause I do, I, I do think I'd, I'd definitely try it again and, um, give it another crack. Right. Like, right. Like when I go try one next week, probably not just cause like I've, it was it was a challenge, dude, and it was like easily the hardest thing that I've ever put myself through. Um, but yeah, no, never say no to the future for sure. I'm, okay. I'm sure I'd give it another crack. So you'll keep it keep it around, but yeah, yeah. not something we'll you're going to be doing every yeah. week. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Big consequence trick, I have to imagine. Um, thinking about grabbing it in the future. Yeah, dude. So double back roll is going to be grabbed in the contest pass next year. The only thing, like, I didn't want to mess up. I think to grab my double back roll, I've just done like hundreds of double back rolls how I do now. I think I got to like basically like relearn the double back roll. And I didn't want to like mess up the triple by like learning, like relearning it and doing it a different way. For sure, yeah. So, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, the triple has to be landed before you can grab one, before you can do all this other yeah, stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, so, like, no, we're, we're, we're grabbing the double back roll and we're going to... Natural we'll, progression. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. So when you land, I mean, run through the day of double or nothing. So like run through just run through the entire day of double or nothing and maybe the riding order that was chosen the night before yeah um night before was so sick we we met up at this place called the hall and did a little dinner and um picked the riding order and it was so sick i was i was literally thinking it was like playing cards so like you can pull like an eight or like a jack is you're up at like 11th off the dock um and i was thinking in my head i was like dude number six would be so sick like it'd be perfect like not super early, but it'd probably be like around like noon or so. Walked up, dude, pulled six. I was like, yup, it's going my way, dude. And then, dude, even that night, I actually, I didn't have the best night of sleep. I like, I woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't fall asleep for like an hour and a half because I was literally just thinking about the triple. And I'm not, I'm not even joking, dude. I was literally just thinking about like coming home with the belt the next day. Like, well, you posted, I was I like, like, I, like, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but like, I was pretty confident, you know? <laughs> that's wild dude okay um, so so then morning of the contest run yeah. through run through everything there yeah yeah what do we do got to the contest just had a little riders meeting got hyped um and then the double up started everyone started sending it and i mean i normally at a contest i normally just like listen to music stretch out a bit um i definitely like took some more time just to, like visualize what i was gonna do and like my plan out there um yeah so Listen what's the what's the category. format of the contest for those for those who didn't uh, watch yeah, or don't yeah, yeah. know? Double or nothing is you get four double ups, um, and then four people advance into the final round, 
um, where they get four more double ups just to try to like one up their trick. Um, but there is the format where the best trick of the day wins. So it doesn't like, like for example, I did the triple flip in the semifinals and I did a double back roll in the finals, but the triple is what won the contest. Yeah. So, so just, just best trick of the day. So is that's what it. Parks that's wanted us to the be. only winner is best trick. Though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then what was, yeah. What was the other ten thousand for? Because there was twenty thousand, right? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's ten. So it's winner takes all ten thousand for first place, and then there was a ten thousand dollar bounty on a triple flip. There was. Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Interesting. Okay, so when you land the triple, and it was first tee, right? Second. Second tee. Okay, yeah, so dude, you, dude. First, first attempt was the worst attempt I've ever had in my life. I didn't even see that one. Dude, it was like it was bad. <laughs> so second tee though of of the four double yeah. ups, second yeah, yeah, try. Yeah, yeah. Does it go riding full riding order and then back through the full riding order again? And then three. wait, say that again. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way through, and then back yeah. through all the way again. No, no, no. So everyone hits four double ups at a time. Oh, oh so it's yeah, you yeah, do yeah. one, yep. two, three, four. Yeah, one rider sense. goes out, hits four dubs, done. Like you know, done for the day. Unless Sorry, I was at yard sale, so I wasn't fully yeah. watching no, the double good. or nothing contest. Big cable guy. Um, <laughs> well, I'd love to be a double or nothing, but it was scheduled <laughs> the same time as yard sale. So, <laughs> but. So when you land that on the second try, the contest is pretty much over, right? I mean, I don't want to. No say one's that. gonna like, one no, up the like, triple. Like, I don't know. Someone could, but like, what do you think would one up? What do you think would up the triple? Another triple. <laughs> but who else would be? Was there anyone? So there actually, that was, you know, Kai Ditch. Yeah. So he went out. He was seventh rider of the day. He went out right after me and tried triples. Really which is sick. So I guess he's been trying it. Interesting. I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't but know that either. I got, he's, he's gotten, he showed me a couple of videos. He's gotten pretty close to it. Is he trying um, triple back roll too? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. So he actually went on and tried it right after me. But then I don't know what would happen in the situation because, like, say I landed the triple and then he was to land the triple. I don't know. I feel like they'd have to up another 10K for both of you guys for I don't sure. Know. We'd see, but hopefully, hopefully we'll find out in the future if yeah. that happens. But, um, but, but yeah, I mean, I mean, I think when I, when I landed, I. I think I pretty much knew what, was, what the outcome of the day was going to look like. And everybody else has got to be super hyped, right? Cause oh, dude, it was insane. It's not about winning for them at, at, at that point. Like, history has been made in the sport. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. No, everyone, like, dude, all the riders are so hyped for me. It was, it was awesome to, like, share that moment with some of my best some of my best friends. Yeah, sure. and, and what's it mean to you to do this at a double or nothing contest, which is, like, one of the pinnacles of boat riding mm -hmm. right now and has been for a while? What, yeah. What's it mean to you dude, to do it here? Dude, I, I said over and over, like, I was so happy that I didn't land it, like, the weeks, because, like, the weeks prior to the contest, I was getting so close to it, um, and I'm so happy that I didn't land it before the contest, because uh, to, be to be able to put it down in the contest, like, the very first one ever, so insane, and, like, like thank you to PB, Red Bull, like, everyone that helped put it on, like, it was it was wild, dude, for sure. Did Parks have any, any words for you after you, you stopped the triple? Dude, Par Parks was hype, it was sick. It was yeah, dude. I felt the love for sure. Yeah, super jacked. I think all wakeboarding was hyped. I mean, you see, stuff like this is like, whether it's done on the cable or on the boat, it's like it transcends the entire sport of I would say water sports. Like this mm. is something that's so huge for all of water sports. Yeah. But like cable Maybe. wakeboarding, boat wakeboarding, like everyone was just hyped. It took over yeah. the internet for a few days, which is super yeah, yeah, awesome yeah. to see. Yep. No, thank you.